Hello. As you know, according to some scientists, soya is the only plant which is equivalent to first grade animal origin proteins. And again, as you know, it is possible to make products like milk, cheese, yogurt, meatball, etc. from soybeans. In Western countries, we can easily obtain them from supermarkets. And in the developing countries, some people do it uh, just by themselves. It's not so easy to find. Anyway, <coughs> you can make, yes, uh, these foods. The problem is that if you want to buy these soy products, they are quite expensive in the supermarket. And also, if you want to buy machines, they are also quite expensive. That's what I think. So now I will uh, try to teach you uh, making soy milk machines here. One is uh, you can do it as a hobby at home if you have free time. And uh, of course the second one uh, that I will show you is a big one, which is about six and seven thousand uh, dollars in the market. You will learn how to make it for two hundred dollars only. You can also make this as a hobby, but especially if you are uh, an organization trying to feed people, trying to obtain protein for people in Africa or let's say Latin America, uh, South America or any other poor parts of the world, I will explain it to you more detailed by the webcam. I will just show you everything, with the machine, all its parts as you see here. And just I'll give you full details if you are doing it for some other human beings. So, <coughs> yes, as I told you, those machines are uh, actually very expensive, but the method I will show you will make it uh, very cheap for you. So, also vegetarians, vegans, those people who think of their health uh, may use this knowledge. Me. So now uh, you see the machine from different uh, views, uh, from different aspects. <coughs> well, the machine uh, has uh, now it's like a set, but it has actually an oven uh, at the bottom. You can buy it an industrial oven. You have to adapt it uh, to the bucket you put on it. Then comes our bucket, or let's say the water tank, in which you put 8 liters of water to it. And uh, after that, there's also a thermometer, of course, uh, there. After that, we have got the engine and the filter part. Well, the engine is just a vacuum cleaner's engine, and we have to adapt it uh, accordingly. You may use a dimmer if it is very strong. Uh, then uh, there is a filter part. The filter part is also the soybean tank. The soaked soybeans are put uh, in this filter. Then after that you fix the engine part and the filter together. Then you put it in the water tank. And uh, you begin to Heat the water tank till it is 85 uh, degrees centigrade. When it is 85 degrees centigrade, you begin to uh, work the engine about six seconds. Then you wait another six seconds without working. This for homogenization of the uh, soy milk. You repeat this six times. So at the end, you have that soy milk. The ratio I use it is one kilogram of dry soybeans. When you soak, it becomes about 2.4 kilograms. The water I use in the water tank is uh, 8 liters, so it is 1 to 8. That's the conventional soybean ratio. So, as I told you before, uh, now these uh, photos must be enough for you to make this machine. But if you are from an organization uh, for feeding poor people in the poor countries, 
and I will give you more detailed info as I told you uh, by, via, via webcam I, I will do my best for you the best regards